reality is, I mean, from that moment that I felt welcomed in into that new group of kids at school and the drugs and all that, I think, you know, nothing really mattered. You know, the job was, was cool, but man, you know, it was about partying, what's happening in town, around this, the area, the, what's happening at this person's house, whose house are we going, all that, you know. I, I got an opportunity, my sister was um, a bar, bartender and running a very exclusive bar in Auckland and I hadn't seen her for about three or four years and I was in town one night tripping off on acid and this friend of my sister's, I walked past this bar door and she's like, Trent, I was like, hey, yeah, hey, how you doing? And I was like, Tracy, I was like, uh-uh. You know, and uh, she's like, "What are you up to?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm good." And she's like, yeah, "Yeah, you look good." And she's like, "Oh, your sister's upstairs." And I was like, "Wow!" I hadn't seen her in a couple of years. Went upstairs, this flashy bar, and and that's where it started for me, man. That's where it was like, you know, Boogie Nights, that movie, that whole wow. This is a wow. And um, I just saw her and this guy, this bartender, a good friend of mine, still to this day. Um, I just went, I want to be that. And it was the drugs. And just turning up looking good and just making sure I was in the right bar. Like, that's all that cared, really. You can't tell me the next new big drug is to be something out of a flipping light bulb where I'm in this glitzy glamour, popping pills. You know, it's all like, ooh, champagne. You're lucky I'm being seen smoking something out of this light bulb. You know? You <laughs> know? And, uh,. But, you know, that's where your addiction takes you, you know, as long as not really anyone's seen or whatever, whatever. You look at a lifeline. If someone gave me a lifeline right now, in that moment, if I had my lifeline, would I'd just draw the big black cloud. You know, that's where the storm was starting to brew. That was it for me, you know. Just when I flip and had that first taste, you know. Got out of bartending, working, and, you know, dealing the, the, the pee and ooh, dealing whatever, really. But that was the main thing. And, and within that world, it's... The more you go, the darker you, you go, the darker the people become, and so the more intense it comes. Out five nights of the week, home, sleeping for two, out five and nine nights of the week, just trying to get that one more big one, you know? Get that one big one to pay him off and him off, and I'll get more, boom, 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 boom. Never happened. And then it came to the crunch. It came to, the, to my my rock bottom my day you know was it, it came you know and it was like any other day i said to jade i'm off to get some milk to the dairy and i went to the dairy and i get out of the dairy and my mate pulls up in the car hey dude let's you know, come get on and yeah we'll just go for half an hour because i've got to bring the milk back home so it started two days later jade's ringing the phone hang the phone up you want to deal with it and you know, the deals start happening the the chaos the you know, the fiends, the hotels, the all that stuff that comes with it all. And when I first came into recovery, they said you can have a life beyond your wildest dreams, and I f flippin' hated that, hearing that, because I had nothing, and I believed that a life beyond your wildest dream was the cars, the woman, the money, all that, whatever, you know. Lotto, that stuff comes to my head. Your life beyond your wildest dreams, and being able to get up and eat and now in my life today seeing that um, we live in the most blessed place in the world and water, running water and we can just go to the shop and buy bread is, is luxury in life but just being able to um, have a job and pay bills and be a present husband and dad is, is a life beyond my wildest dreams man. You know, I believe I'm an addict. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that twice. Um, you know, for me, I believe um, God, God's re removed me from the obsession to use, but at the same time to use drugs, because I don't use it all, but I don't feel like I want to use it, the feelings, but you know, I still have those addictive behaviours. You know, I've got to keep myself in balance.